Hey guys, what's going on? This is Steven here from Steven Car Reviews, and today we have a 2014 Mercedes-Benz CLS 550. Come visit ALM of Gwinnett, and specifically Mace. Here's his card. Today in this video, we will be starting up the car and going through all the details. So here's the key, the standard Mercedes-Benz key. This is your lock, unlock, trunk button, and your horn. So let's unlock the car. Neo graphite exterior with gray leather interior with a black stitch dash. We'll start it up. Put your foot on the brake. Stick the key in and start it up. Let's go ahead and go through the interior. So over here on the driver door panel, you have stitched leather that wraps around to the top of the dashboard. Aluminum door handle. This is your dark oak trim. Your driver's seat on the door panel here. This car has electric mirrors and also have leather stitched door panel and soft touch command audio system and navigation system. So using this wheel down here, you can control your command audio system. So right now we're on audio. This is and from here. You can go to phone. Then you have video for things like when um, you put in your disc for your movie and you can watch it inside the vehicle. At a stop, of course. Here you have your system. You can go through your settings, your time, and if your display is off or not. Then going back up, this is your Mercedes-Benz apps. your um, settings for your suspension so you can raise the car. The sport and comfort mode for your um, suspension. This is your command system. This is your leather stitched armrest here. If you press this button, lift it up. You have your center console which is pretty big. You have 12 volt power outlet, USB port, and Mercedes-Benz pigtails for your iPod, iPhone, or whatever other device you can put in this female uh, device there. Over here, this is your glove compartment. It's pretty small, but you can fit things in there. Alright, so I do like this headliner in this car. This is your mirror here. All of your controls for your sunroof, your lighting, and your SOS right there. Four. We bought our Mercedes-Benz S-Class. We used to have a CLS. It was a 2008 Mercedes-Benz CLS. So here's the back seat. It is all right back here. It's not too bad. When you close the door, the window goes up as you guys can see. You have the same dark oh, wood trim, your aluminum door panel, and your ambient lighting. Same wood and materials carry through. Here's the back of the seat. Enough space. I remember the CLS was getting a little small for me. It's a lot smaller than our um, S-Class. I do have plenty of headroom. The leather stitching follows through all the way back here. Um, I do remember in our 2008 CLS we had rear air conditioning. I find it interesting that the new ones do not have that. But 
those are your rear air vents. Right here you have two, well you have one cup holder and a smaller little cup holder there. 12 volt power outlet and ashtray. And this is wood, by the way. Back here you have a nice cubby space. Aluminum. Uh, you have your armrest. Here is your storage compartment. This is felt lined. And if you press this button here, nicely two more cup holders come out in addition to the one cup holder down here. So, yeah, this is a pretty large cup holder down there. These are two normal sized ones. So, if you put this back, close this down, that is it for the back seat here. And let's go check out the trunk space. Here's a good view of the back of the car. This car is a CLS 550 formatic. Here's the exhaust pipes in the bottom of the car. So let's go ahead and open up the trunk. It is electric. Um, back here, have decent space. It's nowhere like the size of our S class, but it's pretty decent space. The rear seats do fold down using this handle here and here. Underneath, this is your under car storage. With Mercedes Benz, you can hook it right here and hold it up. You have a full size spare tire, let's see, 18 inch, and your battery. Let's unhook it there. To your right, you close it. Close it. Here's the passenger side of the rear. It's the same size. I do like this leather. I, I believe this is the premium leather. It's very soft, very nice. You have Isofix seats here, so it's good for if you have a uh, child seat. Same materials follow through. This is your passenger seat side. Now in our S class, we do have a similar engine to in the CLS, but I believe it is downgraded. In this CLS, it only has 402 horsepower and 443 pound-feet of torque, which, which um, has a 60 time in about 4.8 seconds. As in our 2013 S550, it's a little bit faster and has more horsepower and torque. Show you up top. This is really, really nice. It, I mean, if I were buying a vehicle, I would buy this over the S Class. Save you some money. I mean, just look at the leather. Look at the seats. Look at the headrest. They cocoon you. It's very nice. One option I would love to have. I mean, look at the perforations. But one option I would love to have is the panoramic sunroof. I feel like it would lighten up the interior a lot in here. But it's still very nice. Alright. Let's go ahead and check out the front. Also here, you have your blind spot assisting your mirrors. LED headlights with LED turn signals and daytime running light there. Also, your signature Mercedes-Benz daytime running light is down here. Car looks very angry, very muscular. You have your star in the middle, um, telling you that this is a sport model for Mercedes-Benz. So if you guys did enjoy this vi um, this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment what you thought of the video. And be sure to come to ALM of Gwinnett. Have a great day.